making this video because I wanted to show the difference between the stock cooler on this uh, EVGA GTX 470 and then uh, the difference between that and the aftermarket cooler I just bought which is the Arctic Accelero Extreme Plus. Um, I bought this one based on reviews, cost, and the performance. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to I'm going to run a benchmark and monitor temps and just show the difference between the temps on this stock cooler and the fan speed, the fan speed and the fan uh, loudness, and then I'm going to do it again with this cooler installed. So just to run down my system, I've got the for processor. I've got the um, i7 2600K. I've got it overclocked at uh, 4.5 gigs. Voltage of 1.296, and that's a stable overclock on my system. Video card, it's the GTX 470. I've got the max voltage, which of course increases the heat a bit anyway. Um, 789 on the core, 1578 on the shader. Memory's at 1902, and then I have my, my own predefined uh, fan setting, which looks like this. So basically, I'm giving it 100% when it reaches about uh, 80 degrees Celsius. So, rest of my system, um, I've got a huge case. It's the Thermaltake Armor. It's like an 11 bay case. Um, I've got, I think, a total of four 120s for airflow. Uh, CPU cooler is the Hyper 212, which I highly recommend if you're just looking to stick with air. Um, I don't know, I get about between 35 and 40 uh, on that cooler idle and full load. I've never really seen it go over 67. So I'm happy with that. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, it's Corsair DDR3 Vengeance, 1600 megahertz. I'm running an SSD 64 gig uh, hard drive to be used just for cache against my, I think I got a, uh, it's a one terabyte internal there. And so I'm gonna run the benchmark and we're going to monitor these temps and you'll be able to hear the fan speed. So we're at 61 right from the desktop, that's the temp. I got the volume off in the game so you can hear the fan going. I'm using this game because out of all the games I play, I play a lot of FPS, uh, Call of Duty, World at War. I'm not really into the new Call of Duties, but I like World at War, I like Call of Duty 2, I like uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, I play those the most probably. But this is the game that really gets it going, so I'm going to use that. Uh, my options in the game are right here. Everything's pretty much on max. So we'll go back, get the benchmark going. You can already hear the fans start to kick in. Whoops. This is kind of weird holding the camera and trying to do everything. Extras. So we'll run this. And I do have the case cover off, so the temps might be a little bit higher if I kept it on, but then you wouldn't be able to hear it as much. So we're at 84% fan, and that's how loud it is already.
4% fan right now. That's 88%. I think it's a benchmark spot done anyway. So you get the idea here. There we go, okay. So that's 91 right there. And then just to show you, here's 100%. I just think that's too loud and annoying so I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm going to uh, install this new cooler and I'll I'll come back and show you the difference be right back what's up guys I'm back um, it's actually been like two weeks I, uh, I went to install the cooler and upon reading the instructions realized that I'm I needed to re to buy a separate bracket kit for my specific card and I think there's about five cards where you're required to do so for everything to fit properly. So I went and did that. It was like 12 bucks on Frozen CPU. I think that's the site I got it from. And it came within a couple days, so I threw that in there. And I just haven't made the second video, second part of this video. So here I am. Um, the installation wasn't bad. Um, you, there's a couple things you have to do that weren't too big of a deal, but you got to be careful about it. Um, these heat sinks that are running along here, these four, there's four more on the inside and four more on the other side, so there's like a total of 12, I believe, on my card. And each card's gonna have a different amount. Um, you have to mix this glue compound and then spread it like you would a, you know, like a processor or something with a thermal paste. It's kind of like thermal paste, but it's supposed to be more like a glue. And it actually never really dries, so that if you want to take these off, it's they're basically suctioned on with with this material so you know if I if I went to push this it would probably move a little bit but I'm not gonna mess with it but just just so you know this stuff's not gonna be rock solid like concrete um, you have to mix that like within five minutes and then use it within 15 so just you know just remember that and then the cure time was it was stated at five hours but I let mine go for probably 10 I just let it go overnight and also, make sure you put these things, you know, on the very, like, be real precise with it. Because if you have one hanging in a little bit, you're not going to be able to mount the cooler because the heat sinks go all the way around the, you know, the VGA processor. So, anyway, uh, the overall installation wasn't too bad, other than having to purchase something else that I didn't know I had to purchase. That was a bit disappointing, but it wasn't the biggest deal ever. So... It's all in and let's see, on idle right now, we're at 46 and I think my other card was between 55 and 60 on idle. And that's with the same automated fan settings. This at 41%. All this stuff's the same, I didn't change any of that. We got the full voltage, 789, 1578, and 1902 for the memory. And then my fan setting is the same right there. We have it maxing at 80, which is no longer necessary because I have not seen this go over 65 since I installed the cooler. And that's with this profile. So, you know, when it's at 65, it's only running 60% of the fan speed. So overall, this thing is a great performer and I, I totally recommend it for an upgrade and especially if you're doing overclocking you want something that's going to keep it cool if you're using you know more voltage than it's intended to, to be using um, so with with that um, none of this has changed the only difference in my system is I, I swapped a couple case fans which doesn't really add much for noise they're both the same noisiness um, I added I added this this is like a, a ventilation out fan or it just sucks the air in and blows it out the back because this VGA cooler does not 
you know vent the air straight out of the case it just blows onto the heat sinks and that just kind of goes into your case and the 120s or whatever fan system you have blows it out so I decided to use I added this one too just to put a couple of those around the, the cooler um, and I'll run the benchmark and we'll show you temps and noises So, from the first video, I think I was at 60 degrees coming into the, the game. And on the packaging of the, this cooler, the, uh, the advertised degree drop was 27, and that's pretty right on as far as um, when it's under load. <clears throat> Duh, I'm just sitting here looking at the temps. Okay. All right, there we go. I'll, I will put in my remarks the, uh, the part numbers and um, I don't know, just the specifications of those brackets that are required for some of the cards. There's a list of, you know, all the cards that you won't need to get it for, and then it shows a separate list of the ones that you have to... There's two different bracket sets that you can purchase. And I have no clue if this supports the, the new 600 series video cards. I would imagine that they would make another bracket set for that if it was going to, so... So based on my profile, this, the fan speed's not really going to go up much because the temps are staying, you know, right at 50 to 55, which is perfect. So any of that noise you, you hear is probably not the the video cooler it's probably this fan and my couple case fans that are close by to it and then in the and before I think around this area I was getting close to 80 for the temp so it's well over a 20 degrees difference I would say I don't know how well this would support an SLI system because the cooler is pretty big um, if you had the standard SLI configuration where the video cards are pretty close together it probably wouldn't work but some of the, the newer motherboards have them spread further apart or if you have a tri SLI and you're able to use the first and third it would probably work for that but I have no clue so there's that and I'm going to show you like I did on the last video the 100% fan alright so there's all our information from that test I just ran um, and it, if you see it shows the GPU usage I mean it's maxing out that's why I use this game because it's it's a pretty demanding game, I'd say. And I run, well, I said in the other video, I run all these other games, and that Mafia just, it seemed to make that card super loud, so I figured it would be a good tester for this. Um, so here, we'll set this to 100%. All right, so here's what it's at now. That's about 45 and I will click in three seconds one two three that's at 100 percent a lot quieter and the overall performance is great so I'd highly recommend this cooler 
it was about $90, but well worth it. And thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Thanks.